you want to replace the hard drive in the Beats Special Edition laptop and didn't find anything online so I thought I would share what we've learned so far. Uh, you need to remove all the screws that are on the back of the laptop and you also need to remove the battery and remove the screw that is right there. And also a little tricky, you do have to remove the rubber feet on each side and there is a screw under the rubber foot on each side and then also when you lift off this piece here which is a little tricky to get off there is another screw that needs to be removed under there on each side. Every screw is the same size except for the two that hold the plastic piece on right there. So those are the only two smaller ones. Move this screw right here. The DVD CD drive will just slide out. And that also needs to be taken out. And there is a screw that comes out right here. Now ours was did not have other screws here, but it looks like it possibly should have. But ours only had one right there. And it's a small screw with a big head on it. You must also remove the plastic cover that is covering this. A hidden screw. Tricky. Once you're done with that, I would get something like a gift card or a plastic card and you can go around to start to get the keyboard removed from the rest of the laptop. I've already started to do this and I just started in the front here and it, it came apart pretty easily. So just continue to do that to go around until you release the keyboard from everything. The hard drive has some just some rubber grommet around here that holds it in place and just by slightly tugging on the outer edge it will lift up. It's a little tight fitting in there. And then the uh, SATA connection is at the front here. Looks like that's held in with just a ribbon cable too, so I'm going to try and pull that out now. Alright, so that just pulls right out very gently. I just used my nail on either side of the connector and it did pull out of the hard drive. And now the hard drive has been has been free now. I'm going to transfer these rubber grommets to the other to the SSD and then we'll put it back in. Okay, those rubber grommets just have little feet that go or not feet, but little legs that go into the holes on the side of the hard drive and it was very easy to put the uh, SATA connector and the power connector right back on. It's just one piece. And then we're just going to set that back in there, reconnect the uh, one ribbon cable here. It needs to go across and we should be back in business hopefully. Okay, and so there is the SSD back inside the computer. It sits down a little lower because of course it is thinner than the one terabyte that uh, comes with the computer. But it should, this should be quite a bit faster. Using the Samsung Magician software, I did set the drive for maximum reliability, and then I did run the uh, performance benchmark, and so decent numbers, of course, much faster than what you would get with a normal spinning hard drive. So I'm going to close it up. Laptop is pretty much ready to go back together, and we'll see how it lasts over the next few weeks.